convicts a Boston firefighter on a mission. His helmet stolen, and he won't rest until it's found. He has been looking for months now, and here's where you come in. Maybe fresh eyes could crack this case. Our Reed Lamberty is live in Roxbury with a story. Reed? Heather, a helmet is the one thing a firefighter can take with him when the job is done. But this firefighter, he's not quite done. His helmet was stolen, and he's now desperate to get it back. For the better part of a year, they do have them out there. Boston firefighter Brian Carey has been perusing eBay. There's an old beat up helmet right here. Hoping to find his firefighting helmet from engine 14. It was stolen from the back of a fire truck. My hat was ripped out of my chest. It's been over a year now. Brian says he's losing faith he'll ever find it. There's a big online market for firefighters' helmets, collectors spending hundreds of dollars on just one. This one belonged to his father. You know, I earned it. They didn't. Uh, my father earned it. And he passed it on to me. Social media is the platform on which Brian now pleads for help, posting his story on Facebook in hopes someone does the right thing. No luck, nothing. I've had people that have been putting uh, the feelers out there too on, online, spreading the word, and I haven't heard anything back. Brian says a firefighter's helmet is as much a part of him than anything else. And with 31 years on the job, as many times Brian raced out of the door on a call, his helmet was right there with him. It's a history of your career. Everywhere you've been, everything you've done, every fire you've gone to. Brian remains hopeful the helmet will turn up one day. It can sit right next to his father's and down the road, perhaps his own son's, who wants to follow in Brian's footsteps. A beat up piece of equipment that truly is living history. Not only my history, but the history of all the guys on the job. Everybody's got their own stories to tell. Brian's helmet actually was targeted before about 20 years ago. The leather patch bearing the engine number was stolen. The patch is replaceable. His helmet's not. Live in Roxbury, I'm Reed Lamberty, WCVB News Center 5.